Hi everyone, Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room. I'm stopping in real quick because I I know of someone that's having a hard time right at the moment and um, I just want to encourage her that uh, to have hope. Have hope. God said, you know, this isn't our home. We are just passing through, so have hope. And I would encourage you to read scripture of Hebrew, a scripture, and let me read it for you. It says, uh, Hebrews 11.1, 1, and that's the faith uh, chapter. So, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So, read Hebrews today. Um, you know, it's Hebrews is the faith uh, book of the Bible. So, have faith you know god just impressed upon my heart that i was sewing i was sewing a new top working on my dress here and he just put on my heart to stop and get on here and lift up the special person that's having a rough time up in prayer and let her know that we as christians we have hope we have faith even though it doesn't look like it's something that is positive God has a plan. And remember, uh, Jesus told me probably the first of last week, kept asking me, why was I crucified? Why was I crucified? Well, Jesus was crucified because he was telling the good news, uh, you know, the truth. The, so just realize it took three days after he was crucified on that cross. People kept wanting to see powerful angels, you know, him to call down angels from heaven and, and conquer it that way. And that is us as humans. But we got to trust God's plan is not our plan. So just because we don't see what we're wanting to see in the natural, just know God is at work. And we just are to have hope and faith and trust in God that remember on the third day the third day Jesus Christ rose from the dead he didn't come off that cross he didn't he it took three days and people thought it was over thought it was finished but it wasn't it was just beginning so have faith I love you and my prayers are with you and let me say a little prayer dear Heavenly Father you know the outcome of today and you knew it before it happened. But right now, I just lift up everybody that is having a rough time. Uh, even I'm, I'm having a rough time, God. And my heart is crying out. But you're telling me, Lord, not to look in the natural, but look into the supernatural where you're at. So I'm asking right now that you lift up this particular person, Lord Jesus. Wrap her in her, your loving arms and let her Feel your presence. Let her see. Open her eyes. Just like you let Elijah's servant open his eyes and see the mighty army that was on the hilltop to defend them. Open people's eyes that they might see the mighty army that the Lord has defending us. And just help us to trust and know that you have everything under control. And even though our hearts are broken, let us rejoice knowing that we have a Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. In your mighty name I pray, amen. I hope it helped you. My heart's breaking. Um, if I said I don't have tears of sadness, I would be wrong. But I also have joy, the joy that's unspeakable, and that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first, because you are in God's eyes. So I'll be back on Friday Sews to show you my dress and the new top that I'm making. Go out and do something creative. Whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord and your blessings will always come back to you. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.